assalamu alaikum class this is dr ikram mushtaq the topic of our uh, today's tutorial is mental health uh generally if we talk about health it is defined as a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity specifically mental health Uh, or a mental illness as you can see in the picture it's a condition that has a negative effect on the way on on the way an individual thinks or feels and behaves mental health is thus the balanced development of individuals personality and emotional attitudes which enable him to live harmoniously with his fellow men or environment In 1950 a WHO expert committee on uh, mental health reviewed the various definitions of the mental health and uh, and observed that mental health uh, is influenced by both biological and the social factors it is not a static condition but subject to variations and fluctuations of the degree thus WHO define it as uh, it's a cap capacity in an individual to form harmonious relations with other and to participate in or contribute constructively to changes in his social and physical environment mental health is an integral part of sustainable developmental goal uh, in goal number 3 it is suggested to ensure healthy lives and promote the well-being for all at all ages how by integrating the mental health promotions and prevention care across the life course uh shifting the mental health care from institutions to community platforms right developing and implementing a suicide prevention strategy decreasing harmful use of alcohol and psychoactive substances identifying and treating substance use disorders regarding these statistics associated with mental health who suggests that mental health uh is associated with 13% rise in mental health conditions and substance use disorders in the last decade till 2017 around 20% of the world's children and adolescents they have a mental health condition suicide the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29 years old individuals approximately 1 in 5 people in post conflict settings they have a mental health condition now what are the characteristics which are associated with mental mentally healthy person uh there are three main characteristics number one is he feels comfortable about himself that is he feels reasonably secure and adequate he neither underestimates nor overestimates his own ability he accepts his shortcoming he has self respect Number 2 is the mentally healthy person he feels right towards other this means that uh he's able to be interested in others and to love them he has friendships that are satisfying and lasting he is able to feel a part of a group without being submerged by it he's able to like and trust others number 3 the mentally healthy person is able to meet the demands of life he does something about the problems as they arise he is able to think for himself and to th take his own decisions he sets reasonable goals for himself he is not uh, bowled over by his own emotions of fear anger love or guilt so there are some warning signs which suggest uh, poor mental health and what are those uh are uh you or are the patient always worrying uh are the patient unable to concentrate because of unrecognized unrecognized reasons uh if the patient is un, uh, continually unhappy without justified cause if the patient lose temper easily and often <clears throat> is he or she troubled by regular insomnia uh is he or she having wide fluctuations in mood from depression to elation back to depression you know 
if he continues continually dislike to be with the people if he or she is upset if the routine of your life is disturbed uh if his or her children const- uh, consistently get on uh, their nerves or uh, if he or she browned off and constantly bitter if he or she afraid without real cause if he or she always right and the other person always wrong lastly if uh, the patient have numerous aches and pains for which no doctor can find a physical cause mental and behavior disorders they are understood as uh, clinically significant conditions which are characterized by alteration in thinking mood or behavior associated with personal distress or impaired functioning any classification of mental disorder classifies syndromes and conditions uh, there are major and minor minor illnesses the major illnesses they are called psychosis and there are three major illnesses schizophrenia manic depressive psychosis and paranoia regarding the minor illnesses it consists of two groups neurosis or psychoneurosis and secondly uh, personality and corrective disorder uh, okay as you can uh, see in the picture different type of mental illnesses and uh, uh, as i have told in the last slide uh, regarding the major and the minor illnesses major illnesses i, I have told it's called psychosis uh, here the person is insane that's why it's, it's uh, in the major category and uh, out of he is out of touch with the reality Uh, regarding the schizophrenia it's a split personality in which the patient lives in a dream world of his own uh manic depressive psychosis consists in which the symptoms vary from height of excitement to death of uh, depression in paranoia uh, which is asso- associated with undue and extreme suspicion and a progressive tendency to regard the whole world in a framework of de- uh, delusions and regarding the minor, minor illnesses neurosis uh, or psychoneurosis in this in this condition patient is un- unable to react normally to life situations he is not considered insane by his associates but nevertheless exhibits certain peculiar symptoms such as morbid fears compulsions and uh, in personality disorder this group of disorder they are the legacy of un fortunate childhood exper- experiences and perception the international classification of disease icd classify the mental and behavioral disorder as uh, neurotic stress related disorders uh, which includes anxiety obsessive compulsive disorders uh, adult personality and behavior disorders mental retardation disorders of psychological development emotional disorders unspecified disorders mental illness like physical illness is due to multiple causes uh, four of the causes which uh, is written in your book i have made a slide on it and it consists of organic conditions hereditary conditions social causes and my mental factors in organic conditions uh mental illnesses may have their origin in organic conditions such as cerebral arteriosclerosis neoplasm metabolic diseases neurological diseases chronic diseases such as tb uh, leprosy in hereditary conditions uh, it plays an important factor for example the child of two schizophrenic parents is 40 times more likely to develop the schizophrenia than is the child of healthy uh, parents in the social pathological causes uh, there must be uh, a combination of genetic and environmental factors to produce any disease the social and environmental factors associated with mental ill, Ill, uh, Ill health comprise worries anxiety broken homes poverty industrialization uh, neglection uh, rejection economic insecurity cruelty as we were discussing the causes of mental ill health 
last was the environmental factor which consists of toxic substances like carbon disulfide mercury manganese tin lead compounds etc uh, psychotropic drugs like barbiturates alcohol grisofulvin nutritional factors which can include deficiency of thiamine pyridoxine minerals includes deficiency of iodine infective agents includes uh, infectious diseases like measles rubella during the prenatal perinatal and postnatal periods of life it may have adverse effects on the brain development regarding the tra uh, traumatic factors road and occupational accidents and in radiation factors nervous system is most sensitive to radiation during the period of neuro, uh, neural development there are certain key points in the development of the human being which are important from the point of view of mental health these are a uh, prenatal period first 5 years of life school child adolescence old age how uh, the prenatal period is important pregnancy is a stressful period for some women they need help not only for their physical but also emotional needs uh, in the first year 5 years of life the root of mental health are in the chi early childhood the infant and young child should experience a warm intimate and continuous relationship with his mother and uh, father uh, regarding a school child everything that happens in the school affects the mental health of a child the programs and practices of the school may satisfy or frustrate the emotional needs of a child from the standpoint of child's mental health and his effectiveness in learning proper teacher pupil relationship and a climate of uh, classroom are very important adolescent group the transition from adolescent to manhood is often a stormy one and uh, uh fraught with dangers to mental health manifested in the form of mental ill health among the young and juvenile delinquents uh the basic need of adolescents are the need to be needed by others the need for increasing independence the need to achieve adequate adjustment to the opposite sex the need to rethink the cherished belief of one el one's elders uh regarding the old age the mental health problems of uh, aged have received considerable attention in recent times in the developed countries the cause of mental illness in aged are organic condition of the brain economic uh, insecurity lack of home poor status and insecurity thus throughout his life the needs of man remain the same the need for affection need for belonging need for independence need for achievement need for recognition and uh, approval these needs only differ in degree and qualitative importance at various ages mental health services in a community they are concerned not only with early diagnosis and treatment but also with the preservation and promotion of good mental health uh it comprises of early diagnosis and treatment rehabilitation group and uh, individual psychotherapy mental health education use of psychoactive drugs and after care services three levels of prevention uh, have been described primary primary prevention operates on a community basis this consists of improving the social environment and promotion of social emotional and physical well-being of the people it includes working for better living conditions and improved health and welfare secondary uh, this consists of early diagnosis of mental illness and of social and, and emotional disturbance through screening programs in schools universities uh, and provision of treatment facilities and effective community uh, resources in this regard family based health services have much role to play tertiary uh, tertiary prevention seeks to reduce the duration of mental illness and thus reduce the stress they create for the family and the community in short the goal at this level is to prevent the further breakdown and uh, disruption since 95% of psychiatric cases can be treated with or without the hospitalization close to their homes the current trend is full integration of uh, psychiatric services with other health services uh the community mental health program includes all community 
um, facilities pertinent in any way to prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. It consists of uh, inpatient services, outpatient services, partial hospitalization, emergency services, diagnostic services, pre care and after care services, education services, training and research. You should know all the uh, elements, all the uh, things which are involved in this program. This is very important from exam point of view. Thank you at the end for your patience and if you have any question you can ask and uh, lastly uh, you can counsel your patient or any depressive friend or a family uh, person around you by saying it's okay uh, to not have it all figured out yet.